and welcome to my kitchen. Today, May 21st, is Yom Yerushalayim. So for today's a daily inspiration in celebration of Jerusalem Day, I'm going to show you how to make hummus. So let's start by putting on our aprons and uh, telling you that I'm going to use a recipe by the cookbook author Joan Nathan. I found it in a book called The Foods of Israel Today. I will put, it's also available online. I will post a link to it with this uh, video. Um, and it, the recipe uses basic pantry ingredients. At least they're basic pantry ingredients for me. You need a can of chickpeas. You need some tahina, which you can find in the section of your supermarket where the Middle Eastern groceries are. Um, I always have tahina. You can use it in place of peanut butter. It's a great ingredient. Um, and it, the other main ingredient really is olive oil and the and lemon juice. And these days it might be hard to come by a lemon, but uh, lemon juice. And if you like the spices, you can add cumin and a little dash of cayenne pepper that will give it a little uh, a little kick. Uh, oh, and garlic. Garlic, again, is totally up to you. The recipe calls for two garlic cloves. Um, I am using three just because two of them were very small. Um, totally up to you how much garlic you want to use. It's also up to you how much lemon juice you want to put in. The recipe calls for actually half a cup. I'm probably not going to use that much. So you put all of the ingredients into your food processor, Cuisinart. Uh, I suppose you could do it in a blender, but I don't think a blender would be quite as effective. Um, so I always use a food processor. Uh, one thing I didn't mention is that you should, of course, add salt to taste. The recipe calls for a teaspoon of salt, but I know that might be too much for some people. The other thing I didn't say is that uh, Joan Nathan uh, writes her recipe with using dried chickpeas that you soak and cook. And I almost never make my hummus with dried chickpeas because it's always a kind of a spur of the moment thing. Oh, I feel like having hummus. So I always use canned chickpeas. And you can use one 19 ounce uh, can of chickpeas, 19 ounces or 540 milliliters, uh, which is equivalent to about two cups of, one cup of dry chickpeas equals about two cups. So one can of chickpeas. And the other thing, uh, tip that I will give you is that I did not do this today, but I do do it sometimes. If you want super creamy chickpeas, you can slip the skins off your chickpeas. So your, 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 your chickpeas are come out of the can like this, and you may not even know that there is a skin on them. And the skin slips off really easily. Whoops. See, I dropped the chickpea. It slipped off. So here's the, the skin. Here's the chickpea. If you remove the skins, your chickpea, your hummus is going to be extra creamy. So moving along, you put all your ingredients, except for the olive oil, um, except for the olive oil and some water uh, in the Cuisinart. You give it a, a quick process, and then you, with the food processor running, you add the oil and a little bit of of water. So I'm going to turn the tape, the video off to, for, to pro, do the initial process, and then maybe I'll do the second step with the video running. Okay, so my ingredients are processed. I ran the food processor for about a minute. Um, one thing I also didn't mention is I said I didn't think I would use a whole half cup of lemon juice, but I used a lemon and a half, and it did measure out to about a half a cup of lemon juice. So that's what I used. And now I'm going to take the she calls for a quarter of a cup of olive oil. I'm going to use a little bit more, probably more like a third of a cup. And my food processor allows me to um, add ingredients as it's running. So I'm going to turn it on and add my olive oil. And now I'm going to do the same thing with about a quarter of a cup of water. And there you have delicious hummus. I'm just gonna stick my finger in it 
and have a taste. Uh, you can, of course, eat it with uh, uh, crudite, with uh, uh, veggies, or pita, or crackers, chips, your whatever uh, floats your boat. So enjoy your hummus and happy Yomi Rushalayim.